Alright man, what to do, 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 what to do. Boss and torn, king and torn .com, man. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all like that? Y'all like that pause? That, that. Mm, you know what I'm talking about, man? Boss and torn, king and torn .com. Y'all already know, man. Y'all know the website we're playing. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people been booking. I truly appreciate you. Whatever you're going through, whatever's on your mind, whatever that you're dealing with, personal relationship, self-development, you just want a non-biased individual, man. Book a session, man. Boss and torn, king and torn .com. Now, listen, man. If y'all read the title and see the meme, you will see that people are giving Rick Ross. You know what I'm talking about? The fellow boss. You know what I'm talking about? You know, growing up, man, you know, I'm from Texas, so Slim Thug used boss a lot. When I had my business all throughout my 20s, my door-to-door -door business I've owned for over, you know, about seven, eight years, I was always referred to as boss. You know what I'm saying? And anywho, but Rick Ross, uh, Rick Ross, AKA the boss, whatever the case is. A lot of people are giving him slack. And if you see the meme, I know it's small, but a young lady was pulling his car talking about, you know, so you the same dude talking about putting Molly out of her drink. She didn't even know it. Oh, I said, oh, cause she didn't lie. Oh, that's disrespect. You know what I'm talking about? Now, let me, let, let, let's start right here. To the big homie, Rose. Kim folk, you are respectfully, brother. You are very much incorrect when it comes to putting Molly on her drink, and she mean no way. Yo, talking about that. <laughs> we can go ahead and address that right now. We ain't putting nothing in nothing. It's too many women for that, brother. You know what I'm talking about. However, we do understand that was just music or whatever the case is. I don't want to get out. Of, that's not the reason why I'm on this video. That's another topic. Just understand that Boss and Torn don't co-sign it at all. Period. However, I do feel that America, the audience, whoever, y'all are giving Rose a really hard time for nothing, man. The brother just wants the man shades. Now, as a fellow bearded brother myself who loves to wear different pairs of shades and clear lenses and, you know, Louis and so on and so forth, just whatever, you know, I like different pairs of shades. I own a lot of them and I just like it. And, you know, I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think we're, I think, I think the audience is reaching. What y'all reaching for? And we already, you know, we can see, you know, with, with Jesse Dahmer, whatever this crazy, <laughs> this crazy dude, you know what I'm saying? This dude here was doing the most, G. Like, man, look, I know this video is all over the place. Bear with me. I'm going to bring it home. But yeah, man, I've, I've been trying to catch up on this series. I think I'm on season, I mean, on episode four, if I'm not mistaken. I'm on the episode where. The little child, this dude had, one of his victims was a child and the child got away, the little Asian dude. And he convinced the police that they, that, that, that the child was grown. And, and the police said, yeah, that's, that's, you know, relationship stuff. And you two men go back in there and y'all keep doing y'all relationship stuff. And that brother sent that child back in there. And then he continued to take that child out. Man, this, this, this dude, this Dom or whatever, whatever his name is, Jesse Dahmer, whatever. I could be saying it incorrectly, but get yeah, a whole fool, whole maniac, period. But I, I, I want, I would like, I want to advocate, and I stand on this, man. I want to advocate that the audience leave Ro, leave Rose alone, man. Leave the brother alone, G. He just, he just saying, man, these are some clean shades. I understand this is a sensitive topic. I get it, I get it, I get it, but y'all are making something out of nothing because that wasn't the context of what Rose talking about. And I'ma keep it gangster with you. The Dahmer, whatever his name, whatever his name is, the, 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 the white, the white brother doing all the nonsense. Y'all gotta admit, man, them gold shades are kind of dope. You know what I'm talking about? They remind me of the Kazelles. I own some Kazelles, uh, Kazelles as well. But just the all gold clear lens, that's just a good look, man. So I'm rocking with Rose with thinking that the shades are dope. And I don't understand what the beef is. I okay. I understand. <laughs> I understand what the beef is. You know, and she ain't even know it. I get it, I get it. But man, on the cool though, y'all gotta leave Rose alone on this. Man, the brother just saying the dude shades are dope. Which they are. Which they are. <laughs> which they are you know what i'm saying and um 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Leave Rose alone, man. You know, it'd be different if the context was different, if his comment was different. The man is specifically, specifically, specifically speaking to the man's shades on the reenactment of the movie. You follow what I'm saying? It's not that big of a deal. Don't come on, emotional people. I mean, we all can get emotional because we're human, but stop stop getting so emotional that you take things out of context and you create your own narrative to to create your own hell you know what i'm saying like cut the crap bro that's not what rose was talking about and i'm rocking with rose to the to the ideal that those shades are clean because that is and if i had me a prayer i would wear them as well you know what i'm talking about so yeah man man leave rose alone man real talk all right man boss out